I'm Natalie, and I'm going to be your guide as we explore the amazing network of dinosaur track sites in and around Moab. From Mill Canyon to Copper Ridge, we've got your science adventure completely covered. These videos can provide a short glimpse into the amazing natural history behind these paleontological sites. That being said, welcome to the Dinosaur Stomping Grounds. As part of a vast expanse of tracks that cover this area, this site preserves a 165 million year old rock section known as the Moab member of the Curtis Formation. And when we say vast, we mean vast. This section of Moab Mega Track Site, also known as the Dinosaur Stomping Grounds, contains over 2,000 single tracks in an area of about two acres. And most of these tracks represent large carnivorous dinosaurs. Getting out here can be a bit tricky as it's a mile and a half hike out to the track site, so make sure you bring lots of water. I'm going to meet Dr. Randy Ermis, paleontologist from the Natural History Museum of Utah, and Rebecca Hunt Foster, a paleontologist from the BLM, out at the track site trailhead. They're going to provide me with some more information about this amazing dinosaur track site. Follow me. Hi, Randy and Rebecca. Thanks for meeting me here today. Hi. So I was wondering if you guys could tell me a little more about how are you able to tell what kind of dinosaurs left all of these tracks here? What we do is we have to compare the tracks themselves by their size and shape with dinosaur bones that we've found. And in this case, in the Curtis Formation, we haven't found any dinosaur bones, so we have to make comparisons with uh, bones found in similar places and similar environments and similar times. And we've identified these dinosaur tracks as an animal called Megalosaurus. Wow, interesting. And I've heard out at this site, there's a lot of tracks, is that right? That's right. In the Moab area, we have hundreds of thousands of tracks, and this area is known as the Moab Mega Track Site. And this one site called the Dinosaur Stomping Ground has 2,300 tracks. That's amazing. That's wow. Really cool. I'm excited to go check it out. So let's go. Cool. The Dinosaur Stomping Ground site is a critical record of our natural past that must be respected as well as protected. Unfortunately, as more and more people make their way out to enjoy these amazing paleontological sites, looting and vandalism have often come as a result. We can all agree that this type of activity is not only unacceptable, but illegal. And sometimes people like you and me may be unintentionally participating in activities like this and have no idea that we're doing it. So how can we know? And how might we minimize that impact during our visit to these wonderful public spaces? One, when we're out discovering, let's leave fossils in place. Even making replicas of plaster or silicon can damage these irreplaceable treasures. Two, we should always use existing trails. And three, if we find a fossil exposed or in danger, Let's leave it in place and contact the appropriate authorities at the BLM field office here in Moab. We can document them with photos and GPS coordinates, but we should never remove them or touch them. Remember, these are your lands. Let's respect them and protect them. Thanks for joining us. <laughs>